Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, and uh, I've got uh, another wine for you today. Thank you for joining me. We are going to be doing the Sea Cliff Sauvignon Blanc 2006 from California. I'll try to get close into that little label action there. Um, so, being California means the grapes can come from anywhere in California, not you know anywhere special. Uh, the <clears throat> winery is in Santa Rosa, California, so that's where they actually put all the, everything together. But these grapes can come from anywhere. Uh, it's a, uh, like I said, it was a 2006 uh, vintage. Uh, this is runs 6.98 at World Market, and um, let's uh, let's check it out here. Not bad in color there. All right, so what I'm getting, um, what I'm getting is a like cantaloupe or melon. Getting a lot of that. Seems like a little bit of alcohol. It's only 13%. So it could be a little bit closer to 14 or 14.5. <clears throat> but yeah, definitely a lot of melon. Uh, more cantaloupe, I think, than anything else. Still, still with the with the melon flavor with that, um, a little bit of acid, um, not really, not really focused. It's kind of all over the place on the acid, but it's still got a little bit of acid, so that's pretty good. Um, you have that that cantaloupe type flavor, um, but pretty much disappears really quick. Let's try that again. That's all I get. Just get that cantaloupe, and it's starting to fade. So, doesn't really have a long finish. Not much going on. You get the acid. I mean, I feel the acid or the alcohol more. The acid. I feel the acid more than I really taste the the the, the fruit. So that's lasting a little bit longer than than the fruit flavor. So, I would say it's it's an okay it's an okay wine for six ninety eight. Um, it's, you know, like, like I say all the time, you know, I drink these at room temperature, which, um, you know, is really warm for, for a white wine. If you, if you were drinking it a little bit, a little bit cooler, uh, it'd probably be a little bit more refreshing. You probably wouldn't get the, the acid sticking around as long. Um, probably still get that cantaloupe flavor, but, um, you know, it's, it's an easy drinking wine. I, it's not, it's not a bad wine. I'd give it probably, I'm going to say I'd give it like an 83 give it an 83 on the score so I mean something that's it's good this time of year you know it's getting hot like it's gonna be um, it's gonna be hot today in San Antonio so it's a uh, it'd be something you like want to sit outside drink this chill it you probably want definitely want to chill it but drink it and kind of relax um, so I can see that being just good wine just 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 to drink you don't need to necessarily pair it with any foods um, so yeah so that that was the uh, this sea cliff like I said wouldn't it's not too bad. Yeah, I'd get it again. A little easy drinking wine. All right, so uh, that's today's episode. Uh, what we're going to talk about is uh, Sommelier School. Actually, the computer right now is number crunching everything. It's getting it all um, uh, converted to a format so I can upload it. Uh, the goal with that is, uh, depending on how I can do all the settings in Vidler, um, it's going to be a web-only uh, content. So, if you're watching this on the podcast, you have to go to the website, all right? So, you got to go to the website to watch Sommelier School. Uh, on Vidler, you might be able to watch it on Vidler because I don't know if I can make it a private video but still have it send out to the, um, to the website. If I can make it private and send it to the website, then if you're my friend on Vidler, hint, hint, uh, you can also watch it on Vidler. But the purpose of 
This is really is extra content. It's not meant to be, uh, you know, so it's meant to be something extra, added value, but you have to go to the website to watch this stuff. So to get eyeballs to the website. Um, <clears throat> just watched uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's first episode back from, uh, from his wife having, having their little girl, Misha. Uh, great episode. Shout out to Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah. You don't get many shout outs, do you? Uh, at least on wine uh, TV podcasts. Hmm, how many of those are there? Uh, not many. At least not many that are still being done because I kind of checked that out. Um, so great episode. Uh, loved the shirt. So uh, that's a great one. And let's see. We've got that. We've got the Sommelier School. So that'll be every Tuesday. And uh, we'll have some more wines this week. Uh, I've got some New Jersey wines that uh, I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and uh, check out. we got a couple of them from, from the Balich, uh, uh Winery up in Jersey. So we'll probably do one of those. Maybe not both of them. Maybe, maybe do both. Who knows? So we'll do that and uh, have some more episodes coming. And thank you for uh, stopping in and watching this. Also, as, as always, you know, click on the ads on the website. You know, go buy some stuff. Um, hopefully we'll have some swag Maybe sometime later in the month we'll have some swag going on. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that, uh, which, which company I want to use because they, they, they do all the stuff. They'll do all the printing and inventory and handling all the money So because uh, I don't really want to print all the stuff myself and have a bunch of stuff sitting in the garage or have to get a storage unit and then have to deal with all that. Even though it can be done cheaper that way, um, really don't want to mess with all that. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, email me, mark at 1337wine. Uh, the email link's right to the right. Friend me up on, on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, we'll see you guys again next time.